Strawberry One, Louise GX right here, and Tango Be Reacting to Undertales versus Five Nights at Freddy's Total War. And this one, ladies and gentlemen, okay, first of all, I had to bring out a little something. Well, actually, not really, but I had to bring out a few things. One, I feel like that Undertale's gonna win. Undertale's gonna win. I mean, they have Frith, Kara, Undying. Now, I know that a lot of you want Friday's Freddy's to win. Because there's big fans between Undertale fans and Freddy Fazbear's fans. So, or, I mean, Five Nights Freddy's fans, but anyway. Or FNAF. Anyway, I believe that Undertale's gonna win, ladies and gentlemen. I really feel like that they're gonna have this advantage, like how they're more stronger and everything. I mean, I feel like that Papyrus is gonna go out first, but that's just gonna make Sans angry and Sans will now try to win. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's just how I gotta think. Like, I still think FNAF can put up a fight, but, but let's just see how this goes. So anyway, but as always, make sure to go check out the original video. We'll be right back here to watch it together, okay? Okay. Hey, it's Sansa Pyrus. Hey, do you like free gift cards to places like Toys R Us, Steam, Best Buy, and many more? Hmm. Wait, Steam has gift cards? I didn't know that. Sponsors that get gifts, you can have access to receive free gift cards of your choosing. All you gotta do is download the free Get Gifts app for iOS or Android. Links will Dang. be in the description. And then, once you download the free app, use code Animation Rewind with a capital A and a capital R for 45. Free okay, maybe that one I, I could try. Animation Rewind. Go to the Get Points tab and complete at least one task to start raking up more points. Completing tasks are really easy. To do that, all you have to do is play any free game on that list or answer a few quick survey questions. Once you have enough points, you can then choose any gift card you like. It's all free, it would support the channel, and you would have an Dang, how is your one? That is some good advertising. So the Get Gifts app and use code Animation Rewind now. Animation Rewind. For that. Robin vs. Spider-Man, Ronald vs. Aquaman, Tails vs. Lucy Hercules, Mickey Mouse vs. Buzz Bunny, Mario vs. Luigi, Deadpool vs. Dante, MLG and Mr. Poop means free for all. Archie Fight Club. What is up, everyone? Welcome to the 115th episode of Cartoon Fight Club, the total war between Undertale and Five Knights. I wonder who the, the mystery fighters are. That's one thing I'm wondering. In this battle is a sequel to Sans vs. Freddy Fazbear. So if you haven't seen. Don't you mean like Freddy Fazbear vs. Sans because Freddy's name kind of went first before Sans? No, like in the fight. The fight, like that. Once again, this total war is the sequel between Sans and Freddy Fazbear, except this time each player has their own teammates. For Team Undertale, we have the likes of Sans, Papyrus, yep. Undyne, Kara, and Frisk. And for Team Five Nights Wait, and Freddy's, we've got Freddy Fazbear, Foxy the Pirate Fox, Chica the Chicken. Bonnie the Bunny and Spring Trap. If you're curious as to okay, why I... characters were selected, I wanted to make this roster as fair as possible on both ends. Wait, really? With all this being said, let's introduce Cartoon Wait, Fight seriously? Club I thought that. I guess I was wrong then. Of fighters. Everyone's favorite skeleton is back. Sans the Skeleton will be leading Team Undertale with his bad puns, carefree attitude. I don't know if there's ever gonna be a Scrappy Falls versus Undertale's or a Mario Universe versus Undertale Universe. I'm wondering about that. A great leader. Being the older brother of Papyrus, he taught him many useful skills. Sans has the ability to teleport, use gaster blasters, telekinetically grab his opponent's souls, and can throw damaging bones at his foes. His only weakness is his 1 HP health. However, if he is hit, he has determination to survive a little longer before the hit kills him. Next up is Sans' younger brother, Papyrus. Papyrus is trying his best to become a member of the Royal Guard. I feel like Papyrus is going to be taken out first. Like, I'm sorry, but I just feel like 
like that, they're gonna go rough on Pirates because they did say he did say like Papyrus is the easier to land hits on. Papyrus may not be as skilled or fast as Sans, but he has more HP and can take more damage than Sans can. Also, for a skeleton, Papyrus has a really kind heart and would think twice before going for the killer blow. From Royal Guard wannabe to someone actually on the Royal Guard, meet Undyne. Oh. monster that leads the royal guard she's extremely skilled with her spare she can use it to change her opponent's soul mode and can oh. multiple spear patterns to deal great damage i did not know that armor protects her from many attacks but without it her scaly skin is much easier to pierce through Undyne is yep. a very passionate warrior. However, sometimes on rare occasions, she acts before thinking and she puts the lives of others before her own, making her a target of sacrifice. Oh, okay, that could be a problem. The deadly and dangerous spirit known as Kara. In the genocide route, Kara holds oh. possession of Frisk and uses Frisk to take down the entire Undertale cast. Kara is fast enough to dodge attacks from Sans, strong enough to damage reality warpers like Flowey and Azrael, and can dethrone kings like Asgore. Kara wields a death Oh yeah, that could be a problem. Skilled with it. And last but not least, we have the lovable and kind-hearted protagonist named Frisk. Frisk is a believer in peace and not much of a fighter. However, while Frisk is non-violent, this member can still play a very important role for the team. With the speed to dodge entire opponents and the knowledge to give helpful advice to other team members, what Frisk lacks in violent attacks gets made up with quick dodging speed and strategizing for other teams. Oh, that, okay, that, that could be useful. A variety of skills and members. Each member has unique abilities and they all have great chemistry. But I don't think they're going to compete with them. I don't think I was going to go well for Five Freya's gang. Five Nights at Freddy's. Freddy Fazbear is the leader and lead singer. Oh, at least thought they were going to have Golden Freddy. However, entertaining pizzeria customers isn't the only thing that this bear is good at. Because Freddy and all the other animatronics on his team are controlled and possessed by haunted spirits. Freddy has a jaw strong enough to crack a human skull, and as seen in the FNAF World app, he has the ability to increase his physical limits by singing and can throw pizza with the pizza wheel. Behind the curtains of the Pirate Cove lives a crimson animatronic fox yeah. known as Foxy. Foxy, Foxy. Is the fastest member on the team as he can quickly dart around the pizzeria in a fast pirate-like fashion. His signature weapon is his captain's hook and he can use it to slash his opponents. Right. Backup singer to the Fazbear band, the yellow chicken known as oh, Chica. Chica is most dangerous in the kitchen, for she enjoys eating pizza more than any other member of the FNAF crew. Her favorite yep. topping is the flesh of her opponents, and she's not afraid to... Ooh, so if she was gonna face Undyne, I guess she would have anchovies? Dangerous range attack. Next yeah. Up, we got the lead guitarist in the Fazbear band, Bonnie the Bunny. Bonnie. Like the other animatronics, Bonnie the Bunny shares very similar goals. If he sees an innocent human, he's going to do what... This gonna be a problem. Well, I don't think it's gonna be a problem with Fresk. Bonnie spends most of his time near the office and, like Freddy, possesses teleportation abilities. And oh. last but not least, we have the most dangerous member of the Fazbear crew, known best as Springtrap. Like the, like, hey, the purple guy? Springtrap so powerful is that this animatronic is possessed by the soul of Purple Guy. Knew it! Purple Guy is an extremely strong man who can hold his own against most animatronics. Now that his soul is possessing one, he is ever more dangerous. Springtrap can easily kill his opponents faster than any other member and is one of, if not the smartest member alongside Freddy Fazbear. Overall team All right, um, I did not know that about Springtrap. As most yeah. of them share the same powers. However, what they lack in variety, they make up with sheer teamwork. They have been doing this for many years. And All right, teamwork. That could help them out and against Team Undertale. To the total war, I just want to remind you that you can get free gift cards in four easy steps. Seriously, you're doing that? I'm trying to again before fights. Wait, what? What are you thinking? 
that battle use code animation rewind with a capital a man no it's good but wait okay seriously why is everyone talking about christmas now like my first year i mentioned this why is everyone talking about christmas when thanksgiving is clearly next like it's people already forgot about thanksgiving Ready for the fight. This war is going to take place in both Snowden and Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria with no prep. Let the total oh. war begin. Okay. I can already see how this is going to go. Is there going to be a jump scare? If there is, I'm lowering the volume. What the heck? Why do you look so um different? You look a little different actually. Like they're more color. They all look like crayons actually. Ouija? 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 <laughs> okay, that actually scared me a little. This is so easy. Okay, are they getting... Oh, there's Undertales. I mean, I mean Friday, oh my god, I feel stupid. <laughs> they may lack variety, but they still have teamwork. Wait, where's Chris? Where's Chris? Careful. You don't want to get too close to my hook. Are they gonna fight? Come on. Seriously, what the heck? Oh, finally! Come and get me! Oh, oh, I knew Fox was gonna take on. I knew Fox was gonna take on Undying. Oh wait. Oh, I was, I was going with Fox Pika. Never mind. Actually, I was going with Foxy first, but still, I, I knew Foxy was gonna take on Undying. Okay. Hey, we're pirates. You are not worried about. Just love our pizza. It's to die for. Okay. I like the snow and I make you with snow. Cause it's after hours and you're in for one hell of an adventure. Oh. Okay. Let's just keep showing that bone. Oh. <laughs> Alright, how much are you going to count for this? For zero. Hey! Is Freddy finished? Well, I was 
right about until one day. But wait, what about Fritz and Springtrap? Are they gonna play their own? What about their timer? Now let's get a oh, there is Fritz. I eat punks like you for breakfast. <laughs> Oh. Okay, Fritz is in trouble. Ah! Is Kara gonna show up? Why does everyone call me a duck? Uh, oh, yeah, from that, um... Duck? Embarrassing! Embarrassing to every duck in existence! I am Chica the Chicken! Oh, Trigger! You rat owner! I'm sure my friends Freddy and Bonnie would just love to watch you. Okay. That reminds me of that scene with him. Hey, they all do it just there. Okay, that might be a bad house. You should just be in free for all right there. That's a fine spray song. Something I'm wondering. Are you ready? Don't they don't? I thought they don't have genders. Car and Fred. Well, um, he Brian. Like, wait, he's still alive. <laughs> Undertale win. Team Undertale win. Team Undertale. Damn it, I love those art styles right there. Especially the power and threat. I want to feel really nice. But for some reason, it reminds me of Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Poor animatronics. Now, if you're a huge fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, Please don't rage and blind berserk. The Five Nights at Freddy's team, while they did put up a good fight and tried their best, they just aren't on the same tier or sheer power as Team Undertale. Also, yeah. Team FNAF lacked major variety issues. Each member had nearly the exact same abilities and stats. While each member of Team Undertale had unique sets of powers and skills that offered them many more options. That's true. No one on Team Five Nights at Freddy's would be even remotely fast enough to catch Sands while traveling at the speed of sound. 
That's true. Sands and Papyrus can easily overwhelm Team Five Nights at Freddy's with an array of gaster blasts, and getting past Kara is also no easy task. This That's true. The same kid who took down gods and reality warpers. This really wasn't who would win between Team Undertale or Team Five Nights at Freddy's. It That's was true. Before. How long could Team Five Nights at Freddy's last? Because the destruction of each animatronic would be inevitable. Now, the best argument for Team Five Nights at Freddy's would be if their souls would still exist, then they would technically still be alive. But I actually believe that Team Undertale has a way to get past Team Five Nights at Freddy's demon spirits. Kara can yep. easily reset the timelines and even destroy the timelines. <laughs> Sans can capture and take hold of their souls, which would count yep. as a confinement victory, and that would be the end for Team Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, another important thing I need to state is that this battle animation was not a simulation. I wasn't simulating how the fight would go, because this fight would actually be a lot shorter, as some members on Team Undertale could wipe out the Five Nights at Freddy's crew much, much faster than what was actually displayed in the video. Now, oh. having a 5-on-5 five five just wouldn't be fair to put Team FNAF through, so if you're interested in seeing a final face-off with more FNAF members and yeah. the likes of the actual purple guy versus Kara all alone with no other Undertale member, all you gotta do is like oh, um, okay. if this video gets 20,000 likes, there will be a final face-off. Also, please comment down below <laughs> the future episodes of Crazy Fight Club. And stay tuned, because the next fighters are going to be revealed. Oh, One. I know this is another shameless plug. You really wanna know? Yes, I wanna free. know. Undertale. Yeah, it's actually really obvious. Man, New Undertale is gonna win. But they said a final face-off with all the Undertale characters versus Kara alone. Oh man, that sounds too unfair. Not really. I'm not sure why I explained to himself how it would. Let me go, and I'll take you both on unarmed. It's the best offer you'll get. I'm trying to help you, dummy. All right, it's Captain America. Two. If it's Captain Falcon, I'm gonna be ex I'm gonna be excited and nervous. Oh, never mind. I guess it was a Nintendo character, but who? Oh my God, it's Snake! It's Snake! Oh man, one of the best uh, Smash Bros. I am going with Snake, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going with Snake. Dang. But anyway, yeah, it actually wouldn't be it's actually kinda of a little bit of an unfair fight because it did say how it how the tail characters will take out will take out that characters near seconds because finance phrase lack I think because they had the same goals and their powers were similar. So yeah, that was the problem. The only really variations that they have are Foxy and uh, Golden Freddy. Yeah, but Golden Freddy wasn't here for the part of this battle. Oh, they were used to fail from the beginning. Yeah, they did have Spring Track, but I don't think that was enough. Spring tra Track is a walking corpse. I still blame you for the background changing into black. Can you really stop? It wasn't me. But anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, God, God admit, it really was an obvious answer that Undertale, Undertale was going to win. I mean, you kind of see it coming, but one thing I'm wondering that a total war that would be made is Undertale versus Gravity Falls. That one I'm wondering. I don't know. I mean, I think Undertale would, li would win for one reason. You want to know what my reason is? Why? Them legs! <laughs> I don't even know if that was on the camera. I don't even care. Ah, uh, those legs will make anyone win or lose. Yeah, but then I mentioned when I said that Bill can kind of like create, can kind of like um, control time itself now. Oh, whatever. I mean, gotta admit that's pretty, that's pretty insane. I won't deny. But anyway. Yeah, no, this time it's got. 
Really did. I'm sorry. I'm on so much sugar right now. But anyway, that was a good fight, ladies and gentlemen. New Undertale is going to win, but I'm excited for Solid Snake versus Captain America. So please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you right back here next time. Luigi GX out.